Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android. Uh, sorry, I got a little bit of a cold here, but uh, life goes on. Um, we're doing um, a little walkthrough here with Sense 5. There are a lot of changes with Sense 5. I know a lot of the stuff kind of looks the same, but there there is definitely a lot of um, changes. And that's one of my complaints with HTC is they continually change and refine sense um, where you really don't need to do too much it just confuses the consumer let's start now this is the HTC one eventually sense 5 is going to show up on a lot of devices but um, the first major change here is the uh, buttons at the bottom uh, instead of having uh, three buttons uh, namely here this is on the droid DNA your home button in the middle and your back button to the left and your tasks uh, to the right they have um, chosen to go with just one home button to the right and a back button to the left with the HTC logo um, in the middle which is doesn't do anything um, well that didn't do anything I didn't hit it really <laughs> um, I hit the launcher by mistake but um, so the HTC in itself doesn't do anything now, the uh, home button, you can go into Google now, I don't have it set up now, by holding it down. Um, I haven't uh, set up Google now yet on this device, but that's how you would get into Google now. Uh, if you want to look at your most recent tasks, you would tap it twice. There we go. Uh, and you can go through and uh, grab any of these tasks and you can swipe them away as well it just well, it looks a little different uh, than in the past um, on, on uh, 4.0 or 4, 4 and 4 plus you have this kind of setup where sometimes you don't even get a picture but you can move them across and or swipe them away so let's go back to home now the main thing here that they've added is this uh, thing called Blink Feed, which I have a separate video on how to set it up and everything. Uh, so you can set it up as your news feed. It's a lot like Flipboard, um, and you can set it up with whatever you want. I'm not going to get into that too much right now. Um, as you can see here by sliding down, this is a new theme also with Sense 5 in that you get some additional options when you slide down. I'll show you that in the app launcher as well. Now, this here is not a widget, although it kind of looks like it. This is fixed on the device, and you cannot remove it. Now, what you can do is um, change what you want to be your home screen. And right now, I've got it all the way to the left, and it's set as the home. But if you tap on any of these uh, and push it down, you can now make, say, this the home um, and of course you can add uh, panels you can have up to five panels but at least one of the panels is going to have to be blink feed now you notice the clock is uh, also no longer uh, the same old uh, flip style clock they do offer that as a widget um, where you go into here and you can go in your widgets you will find it uh, in there that's my droid DNA uh, giving me a notification there. Okay, so now let's look at the app drawer. The app drawer here, they've completely changed it where now it moves vertical. And the default also is only three icons across. With um, 4.0 and 4 Plus, the uh, launcher moved from left to right much similar to stock Android that's something that came to be uh, I don't know if it was ice cream sandwich uh, I'm talking an overall Android not sense but uh, it might have been um, gingerbread I don't remember but um, most Android devices are now moving in that vertical fashion you also notice a little bit different of a look you'll notice the four icons on the bottom which is you know the um, the dock on the main screen that dock really is now part of the app launcher and then more about that in a second over here uh, you actually had some options to just check your frequency your downloads uh, look at all or whatever and of course you had your play store up here and you're searching and menu now you have to kind of scroll down 
just a little bit like I did with blink feed and you get your other choices so you can go right to the play store search menu and you can also set up alphabetical most recent or custom for your um, app launcher uh, now app drawer sorry now let's take a look at this now you'll notice now anything that's in here will not show up show up here so that's how that's how exactly how that works now whereas in the past and let's just go back to the main screen if anything was here it still was in your app drawer now this is part of the app drawer and actually in order to put anything in it you have to be in the app drawer so let's just say let's look at google music right now or um, actually this is uh, HCC's music um, you actually want if you want to put it on the home screen you have to actually swipe it up now to shortcut and um, whoops do that again you put it on shortcut and then you draw I'm sorry did it, I did it wrong again it's always hard to remember this you do it on shortcut then you can uh, drop it where you want and that's a completely different whereas in sense 4 4 plus if you wanted to say um, slacker here you would just it would just go right show you the screen right away and then you can put it on where you on whatever home screen you want no longer the case here so it's a little awkward now if you want to add you can do folders within this like you used to the, in the on the dock but you can't just move stuff so now as, as a music it's no longer there I'm just moving them around right now so even what's more interesting is you can see music is still here now in order to get it in one of these I can move these out or I'm gonna just right now make a folder out of it I'm going to hold long press on it and just bring it down and I'll put it here with messages you can see it's now here it's no longer here in the app drawer and it, but it will still it still exists over here so I can actually remove this here whoops move it right remove it right there uh, it's still over here it's not here now also if I push this I get the folder if I move it out it doesn't literally move it out it's still here again that's going back to this is really part of the app drawer so in order to get it out of here I have to place it here now you're going to get a message that can't rearrange the icons it's basically telling me it's going to go in alphabetical order I'm just going to drop it and it's now out of here and it's over here a little confusing now you can also make folders within the app drawer but you can only do that if you choose custom alphabetical or most recent can't be done for obvious reasons all the apps have got to be in alphabetical or by showing by your most recent you can't move them around uh, in custom if you switch to custom they already have some predefined folders and there you go now uh, so let's say for example I want to put the gallery with Facebook I just go ahead and combine it and there it is and I can go ahead and move it out but now if I do it this way it'll actually place it where I want I've actually changed the order a little bit here because this is custom uh, and obviously I can go back to I like alphabetical myself I don't get into too much folders in the launcher uh, in the app drawer sorry um, so it you know it all depends on preference you also notice here the widget here the clock is now part of the uh, the app drawer as well and might be one of the reasons why they decided to keep this uh, vertical make this vertical but I still think they could have gone uh, you know horizontal now the three icons across is a little small um, at least if they made the icons bigger it might be worthwhile but you can change it you just go over to grid size and switch it to 4x5 and now you have the usual what you're used to seeing and they are separated by pages as you can see uh, so it does scroll by page there is a little bit of a gap and it just snaps right up now the uh, camera interface is also changed we're gonna um, talk a little bit more about the camera in another video but it is changed a lot um, 
while I got it on, I might as well have it. I'm not going to really take any pictures right now, but um, this is a major change here where there's now the Zoe. If you're um, and if and if you take it off, it becomes for normal photos. Again, we have a separate video on that. You have your um, flash for auto or uh, off, and then you have your menu here uh, where you can create your scenes. It's very similar to four and four plus but it is a little there is a little different because of the um, Zoe now down here is where you've got your effects and you can see them here now a lot of them it, they don't give you a name of them it's a little like they just give you a quick look of what they are so this is a little confusing here and actually have to go all the way to the top to get back to normal um, so you got to remember that because you're not really sure looking at it uh, and over here you would get to your most recent photos uh, it's now at the top. And other than that, it, you know, it, it fairly functions the same way, just some minor changes there. Uh, it's not too hard to get used to the home key to the right, though, but it is a little odd uh, that they did put it there. Uh, let's see. I mentioned the four, uh, up to five panels, and right now I have three. Now, okay, let's go into personalizing. You can get into personalizing uh, in the settings. Uh, you still have your settings up at the top right there from your swipe down. It's a little different here. Um, they have the lock screen style where you can choose different ones. Instead of the, um, I had liked uh, this lock screen here with the pictures uh, where it just gives a blunt bunch of pictures uh, flying across the screen. Uh, they don't offer that anymore. They offer uh, this which uh, just basically um, gives you more of a grid style and um, and it will kind of swipe up uh, to different pictures and uh, you don't really get to see a lot that way because who just stares at their lock screen and then that's about it the lock screen will go out automatically it doesn't last long now to unlock you swipe up now with your lock um, you can also do it from other areas um, and you also would uh, if you want to open up to any of these apps you would just swipe up uh, from that and that's how that works I haven't even opened up the browser <laughs> um, and going back to personalize um, you know you have your usual stuff where you can you know do your wallpaper uh, select your wallpapers and uh, you can still, um, for widgets, still long press here and you get your widgets and add a panel. Again, they sh I showed you that shortcut from within Blink Feed. You can still do that. Now, another feature here is Power Save Off. This is uh, something that you can uh, put on and you can check which areas you want. Right now, all four are predefined as checked. Um, CPU power, display, reduce brightness, vibration, data connection, um, you can you know decide if you want all these as part of it or not and you can also turn it off or on right away from here you can check them so this is pretty much uh, sense 5 and what it's all about um, it's um, I think I was gonna show you also I'm trying to remember now that um, oh the widgets now go scroll um, up and down versus going uh, horizontal and um, you know they have their usual uh, widgets for all kinds of power stuff and there's the uh, the weather clock it is part of uh, sense 5 still it becomes a, a now widget and you can drop it there and then select and set your weather so um, I just cancel that for now so anyway that's pretty much it there's a lot of changes with sense 5 um, it's still one of these um, UIs where people either love it or hate it um, I don't necessarily love it. Um, I don't really hate it either. I just get used to it. I get used to using different UIs, um, and I also go through phones a little bit um, more more often than most people. So it's not a big deal. I deal with it. Um, uh, one of the coolest things about this phone, which we'll be getting into, is the Zoe and the uh, video highlights, which is really cool. This blink feed is really nothing major. It's not all that great, but I can see a lot of people liking it, most mainstream consumers. I just wish they'd give you an opportunity to, to take it away, uh, to get rid of it, uh, rather than take up a complete home screen. It basically, in a sense, leaves you four home screens. I don't. I got to add the fourth one, but 
gives you four home screens and that's it um, if you don't care for uh, blink feed. So anyways, that's Sense 5 and it's on the HTC One. Um, and I hope that gives you a good idea of some of the changes when you pick up your phone. And it'll give you a good idea, um, you know, if you're a little lost, hopefully we helped you. So thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.